with the one and only. Chillin' in East Lake Gar. Weekends, it's Osu at Bloom Bar. Croca Beach the beaches, past Casa Wanda. The port is at Tame. What's up, guys? It's Gina E. the one and only African superstar. <laughs> Roll sound. Rolling. Sound production. Take two. What's up, guys? It's Gina Ifoe, the one and only African superstar, bringing you another unpopular opinion. I heard, heard it through the grapevine that some of y'all was mad with my unpopular opinions, but I just have to tell you, I don't care. I actually stopped caring back in 2021. I no longer care. <laughs> I really don't care. The only advice is I could give you is um you know you can you can just leave the channel because i know that a lot of my opinions are going to be challenging um but it is what it is today's first topic is social media it is so problematic now there is a space of social media which is super positive it provides a lot of exposure it also provides like an avenue for us to have global connections um, which I think is so valuable, especially for someone like me. I've migrated, um, you know, now living in my, my second uh, country. And I've been able to utilize social media to get a lot of gainful information. However, 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 the downside of social media is extensive. Um, and I think that it really contributes to people being socially awkward and not having social skills. I mean, I think one of um, the benefits of like the school system or whatever is you learn how to interact with people from different walks of life. You learn how to negotiate challenges. Some people, you know, have to deal with bullying or have to learn communication skills. And for instance, if you are romantically interested in someone, you're going to have to get the courage up. Um, to, to, to reach out to that person one way or shape or form. I think that social media promotes voyeurism and stalking. Um, I personally know, you know, I look at my social media view counts and things like that. I see hundreds of people um, looking at my pictures, watching my videos and things like that. And I mean, probably not even 1% of those people actually interact with me, actually call, actually text, or even have my number, you know? So I think that that's a drawback because a lot of people are feeling lonely, even though they have a lot of social media interaction or having physical interaction. So that leads me into my second point, which is uh, selfies on dating apps. It is one of the most annoying things ever. Like I told you guys, I use the app Tinder and you'll go in there and it's like six selfies of the same guy. It's like, yo fam, show a full body pic. <laughs> like, and I'm gonna keep it 100 with you ladies. We want to see how tall you are guys. Yeah. So, you know, we're going to try to like compare your arm length to your leg. See, you know, if there's, there's a difference there, we're going to look at you in the door frame and try to say, okay, he's tall, he's short. You know, we want to see you stand next to your friends and just get a full body picture. Cause sometimes your face is cute, but the rest of you is not cute. I mean, you're trying to sell yourself. You know what I mean? Put a full body pic, you know, show yourself in action, show yourself in movement you know at the gym or traveling or you know like i said with your boys out on the town hello oh guys another pet peeve uh you all know that facebook profile that sends you a facebook request and you go to the profile and it's like all memes all inspirational quotes and you're just like who oh, is this person listen Listen. That is what a profile picture is for. It's your profile, okay? It's your head, it's your face to identify yourself, okay? It's so annoying. Me personally, if I get a Facebook request from someone with no profile picture, I immediately just delete it. Like, I'm not playing these games. You know, you can go on my, you can go on my, uh, you know, social media and see myself. I mean, I know I'm a social media personality, but still, you should at least have some identifying pictures. If you're that secretive and not hidden, then don't be on the social media because that's what it's there for. Now I'm going to switch gears, okay? So bear with me now. 
I want to say that I'm very happy that the rainbow people got rejected from Ghana. Yes. I know some of you might, you might be sensitive to the rainbow community, but I just got to say, I moved away from America to get away from all that stuff. Okay. I like a traditional environment. Okay. I like a black majority. I like where men like women and women like men and there's families. Please keep it over there. I'm so maybe you guys are not aware a couple months ago, Ghana passed a anti-gay bill, uh, which was almost unanimous here in Ghana where they were rejecting those initiatives and putting some pretty hefty penalties and fines and uh, jail time associated with, you know, promoting that. And I just have to say, I'm happy, you know, it's unpopular opinion, you know, um, My next unpopular opinion is people that don't apologize are not sorry. Even some people that apologize ain't sorry. And this is one of my biggest gripes with like Christianity, for instance, which is like, oh yeah, just forgive everybody. Like just forgive everybody, irrespective of what they do, irrespective of how they treat you, irrespective if it continues, just forgive them because it's in good measure. No, no. No. That is so redac- ridiculous. You can't forgive people that have never asked for, you know, forgiveness. Because they don't care. And if we look at people, for instance, who have not asked for forgiveness. Wink. Wink. It continues. See, I don't personally believe in forgiveness because I know a lot of people are doing what they're doing because, you know, they want to do it. <laughs> Most of us, I mean, 99.9% of us know exactly what we're doing. Even children know, okay, when I cry, mom's going to come. I can, you know, if I do this and that, I can blame my brother or sister. So the, the human psyche processes and understands. Now, I can, you know, probably exclude um, people that maybe have some mental illnesses or maybe disabilities. But, I mean, I've also worked in mental health, and those people are also able to discern how to manipulate and how to get certain reactions and things like that. So I find it very difficult to know uh, that people don't know what's happening. And I think it's crazy that we are also geared towards an afterlife. That's my final uh, unpopular opinion for this segment, which is I don't believe in afterlife. You know, I basically came to the conclusion I had to suspend judgment on afterlife because it cannot be verified. And I do think that the mentality that you live your whole entire, you know, living life, adult life, in expectation of a of an afterlife that you can't verify and people just live willy-nilly and do whatever they want to do and they're supposed to get judgment but you know our judicial system doesn't think that our judicial system thinks if you do an offense you need to pay right now especially in regards to black people <laughs> but whites will get probation they'll get acquitted and all but that's a whole different topic but yeah unpopular opinions family <laughs> If you're new to my channel, please make sure that you subscribe. Um, I do also want you to head over to my business, theafricansuperstar.com. Check out our amazing products, black owned and operated. You know, I do all the designs myself. So please head over there and also support our music project. All the information is in the box below. I've released my first uh, single and music video, which is under Ghana Roll Call. It's also available here on YouTube. And we're currently in process preparing to shoot my second music video, which is Ghana is good for me. So your financial support to help that independent music project is very, very valued. Until we meet again, stay black and true. If you ain't black, just stay true.